Okay, so for today, we are going to talk about products and natural resources. Uh, this is about a good page long, but there seems to be a lot more questions because you're going to have questions really targeting certain areas, such as products and then natural resources. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and read the first four, true or false. And again, this is what you think or may know before reading. Um, the answers are in the text, so we'll be able to identify if it's true or false in the after box. Question number one. Natural resources include land, oceans, forests, minerals, and fuels. True or false? Number two. It is difficult to grow crops in the southeast. True or false? Number three, trees are used to make furniture, lumber, and paper. True or false? Number four, water, oil, natural gas, and coal from the Southeast region are all used to create energy for our country. True or false? Okay, now for the short answers questions, we have three. Number one asks, why has the Southeast become a center for food processing? Number two, give at least two examples of the food Southerners produce. So you're giving two food options there. And number three, Besides food, what are some other products that come from the land in the Southeast region? Besides food. All right, let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead, go back to my guide. Where in the article it says products and natural resources. Here we go. The Southeast is rich in natural resources. Natural resources include land, oceans, forests, minerals, and fuels. So in case you didn't have it, that would be something I would highlight to answer your first question. Land was the first natural resource that attracted people to the Southeast. Growing crops and raising animals was the Southeast's largest industry for many years. An industry is all the businesses that produce one kind of good or provide one kind of service. Today, many industries are important to the region, including the coal mining industry, the steel making industry, the lumber industry, and the oil industry. So that is also something very important to highlight all of the industries that come from this particular region. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and slide down. So here, I'm gonna start with the first column. Almost half of the peanuts grown in the US are grown in Georgia. Agriculture, the business of growing crops and raising animals is an important business in the Southeast. The Southeast is good for growing crops because it's flat land, rich soil, and long growing season. Southern farmers can grow crops for most of the year. Everyone loves Georgia's peaches and Florida's citrus fruits. Other farmers produce rice, cotton, tobacco, sugarcane, and peanuts. So here are some options right here that are not edible. When we're talking about what else they produce, okay, we have cotton and tobacco. So the Southeast has also become a center for food processing. Why? Because it produces so much food. Okay, let's go ahead. The next one is cotton. Cotton is one of many crops that are produced in the Southeast. Why? Because it grows so much cotton, the Southeast is the center of our country's textile industry. 
Many Southerners work in cotton mills and textile factories. They make yarn, cloth, and carpets. Trees are also raised as a crop. In North Carolina, trees are used to make furniture. More than half of the furniture sold in the United States is made in High Point, North Carolina. Okay, I think we should highlight that. In North Carolina, trees are used to make furniture. So that's in the second column in the second paragraph. Continuing down, in Georgia, Arkansas, and Alabama, people use trees to produce lumber and paper. So I'm also going to highlight that because it is just another function that the trees are used for. And paper is still my favorite one. You'd never think. All right, and last column, oil rigs. Oil rigs can be seen from shore along the Gulf of Mexico. Much of our country's energy is produced in the Southeast. The Gulf Coast produces oil and natural gas, a very important resource. Many people work on oil rigs in the Gulf of Mexico. At the foot of the Appalachian Mountains, moving water is used to make electricity. People in the Appalachian Mountains mine coal, which is used to create energy too. Limestone and iron come from other mines in this region. At the only public diamond mine in the world, Crater of Diamonds, you can search for diamonds. And that concludes products and natural resources. So I'm gonna go ahead and read through those questions one last time, okay? So true or false, natural resources include land, oceans, forests, minerals, and fuels. Number two, it is difficult to grow crops in the Southeast. Number three, trees are used to make furniture, lumber, and paper. Number four, water, oil, natural gas, and coal from the Southeast region are all used to create energy for our country. And our three short answers. Why has the Southeast become a center for food processing? Number two, give at least two examples of the food Southerners produce. Remember, there was lots of food listed. And also, besides food, what are some other products that come from the land in the Southeast region? So just remember that at this time, you can pause, rewind, go back. But we did read over all of those answers in the text we even highlighted. Okay, that concludes our resources, natural resources and products. Thank you. Bye.